Guys, Dalek 44 here. I need no introduction, but I got one anyway. We all know the famous voice actress Tara Strong and her great legacy she's had since the 80s, right? For most kids in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, Tara Strong was a huge part of a lot of people's childhoods, voicing many memorable characters, including Hello Kitty, Raven, Raven, Bubbles, Omi, Twilight Sparkle, Timmy Turner, Angel. Mushi, and most recently Unikitty in the Unikitty show. This famous Canadian actress has been around for a long time and has been in a lot of films. Even if you didn't know it, you probably would have heard her voice in several projects. It's true, she's voiced a lot of unforgettable characters in her time, but there's one character that everybody seems to overlook. <laughs> For all the memorable roles that Tara Strong has had over the years, very few people remember her role as Jan Celeste in the Babar TV series from 1989 to 1991. Based on the books by Jean D. Bernhoff and Laurent D. Bernhoff, the plot centres around Kim Babar and his wife Queen Celeste, and their young children, Flora, Alexander, Pom and young Isabel. Most of their adventures would be about the family getting along together as a family, and Babar learning to be a good king. The first two seasons focuses on Babar telling his children stories about when he was a young elephant learning how to be a kid after he was traumatised by the slaughter of his mother, and how he learns the ways of humans in the city and adapts it to the home of Celesteville, which was named after his girlfriend and soon to be Queen Celeste. And of course because the characters were young back then they had to have child actors voicing the characters. And one of the most notable ones that not a lot of people remember is Tara Strong voicing young Celeste for those first two seasons. Yes, even though Tara Strong voiced Jan Celeste in the Babar TV series, everybody just seems to overlook that role. I don't think really understood why. Daddy, the I ever heard, ever. Tara's role as Jan Celeste was back in the day when she was still a young child actress. So judging by the fact that she was born in 1973, and the fact that the show aired in 1989, she would have been at least 15 or 16 years old at the time the show came out. Another factor of it could have been the fact that she had a different last name back then. She wasn't always known as Tara Strong. Back then she was known as Tara Charandoff, which may confuse some people for being a different woman. Coincidence? I think not! But no, if you look on Wikipedia, Tara Strong and Tara Charandoff are the same person. But having a different name back then can lead to some confusion. And her character, Celeste, was really likeable as well during her childhood. She has a regal presence, an engaging manner, and a gentle sense of humour. Remember, jungle pig! How could I forget? You're it. You can't hide from me! <laughs> and it was easy to see in the very first episode that Baba and Celeste had a crush on each other since their childhoods. And it developed more and more as the seasons went on. It's almost gone. I kept you up all night, Celeste. Tell me again about the elephant shit. And yet people seem to toss this ball aside since they mostly remember her for playing superheroes, young boys, young girls, and ponies. It may also be worth pointing out that back then Tara wasn't very well known in those days. She mostly took on balls like Hello Kitty in the anime series. So back then she wasn't as well known as she was in the 90s, early 2000s and today. That's still no excuse for overlooking this well-written character that she plays. Yeah, people may remember her as Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, and Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Raven from Teen Titans, and Unikitty from... well, Unikitty. But Young Celeste is one of the balls that I mostly remember her for, as well as the ones I've listed. And the show Babar itself is really entertaining. 
coming from the same company that adapted the adventures of Tintin into a TV series in the 90s. So you can tell that this show was really well crafted and it shows that the people who based the show on the books really cared for the books and wanted to show that love into their creation. So the show is definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a fan of Fabba and animation. And it's also worth checking out if you're a Tara Strong fan. True, Young Celeste may have been quite a small role for Tara Strong since she only stuck around for like two seasons, but it's a role that doesn't deserve to be overlooked or ignored. So while all of Tara Strong's roles from then to now are really memorable and likeable, then I suggest you go back to watch Fabba and see how she does as Young Celeste. It's a character she plays that doesn't deserve to be overlooked or ignored, and I'm sure you'll have a great kick watching this series and hearing Tara's young voice as Young Celeste. It's a role that's definitely worth remembering. I'm Darling44, and I'll see you next time, folks. <laughs>